In this video, we'll be going over the auto BPM detection feature in SoundSwitch 2.9. This feature allows you to use the sound card or internal mic of your computer to automatically detect the beats per minute or BPM of any audio source. This enables you to use auto loops to generate dynamic beat sync light shows for any live audio, whether it's a band, a club, or an unsupported analog or digital DJ setup. The ideal setup would include a USB audio interface to ensure that you have the cleanest audio source possible for accurate BPM detection. But in this example, we'll be using the internal microphone on our laptop. To get started, connect your micro DMX interface or Control-1 hardware to your laptop and to your DMX lights. Open up Sound Switch, select the Perform option, then select your venue. If you don't have your lights and venue set up yet, you'll need to do that first in edit mode. If you're not familiar with how to create a venue and add your lights in edit mode, check out our other tutorials on YouTube. Once you've connected the Micro DMX or Control-1 and have your venue selected, click on the settings gear icon in the upper right hand corner and then select the tempo detection section under the preferences header. Here, you'll be able to customize the settings for the auto BPM detection feature. Select your audio source by using the top drop down selection box. All available audio interfaces and virtual audio inputs will be shown here. You'll also see any internal microphones here as well. We'll select the internal mic option for this demo. The tempo detection refresh rate slider allows you to set the amount of time the BPM detection algorithm is refreshed. If your audio source will change BPM somewhat frequently, for example a live band or open format DJ, a lower setting will be best. If your audio source maintains a relatively steady BPM for long periods of time, such as is the case with the house music DJ, a higher setting will yield even more accurate BPM results. Beneath this slider, you'll see two checkboxes under the light show options header. What you select here will determine what happens to your light show when the audio volume drops below the threshold on the audio meter. The blackout option will black out your lights when the audio falls below the threshold, and the pause auto loops option will simply pause your light show when the audio falls below the threshold. The BPM detection range allows you to select the general range that the BPM will be in for the duration of your show or gig for greater detection accuracy. The horizontal line threshold control on the audio meter can be moved by clicking and dragging to set the minimum audio threshold required to either pause or black out your light show, as mentioned previously. It's important to note that BPM detection will occur at all volume levels and the threshold line only controls the blackout or pause light show behavior indicated by the checkboxes on the left. If using the laptop's internal microphone, it's best to adjust this threshold to be just above the ambient noise level of the room and just below the level of the audio that you'll be syncing the light show to. Once you've adjusted the settings, click on the source selection menu in the upper left hand corner, then select BPM detection. Click the toggle to activate the light show. If you need to make adjustments to the threshold slider, you can do so at any time while the light show is active. You'll see the detected BPM in the upper left hand corner. To select your auto loops, you can do so on your control one or by clicking on the MIDI option in the upper right hand corner of the sound switch software. You'll be able to see the current status of active auto loops with visual feedback indicators, new in sound switch version 2.9. To reset the phase to beat one on the control one, hold shift and press the play pause button. Or if you're using a laptop, navigate to the standalone tab and click the Q button. You'll be able to see the current beat of the four beat phrase in the upper left hand corner of the software next to the BPM. You can also engage color, strobe, and other overrides as well as static looks throughout your performance. Now that you've set up and activated auto BPM detection within SoundSwitch, dynamic light shows are automatically synced to your audio and you're free to focus on your performance. Another change to SoundSwitch 2.9 is the increased auto loop count to 128 auto loops. This will provide you with four banks of 32 auto loops, giving you even greater control when performing with either your DJ software or the new BPM detection feature. It's important to note that if you're updating from a previous version of SoundSwitch, when you first start SoundSwitch, you will see changes to how your existing auto loops are currently displayed. With 2.9, we have taken your existing 32 auto loops and split them across the four banks. You can now create your own auto loops with the extended auto loop count, or you can simply have SoundSwitch auto populate the empty auto loop slots with the newly created default auto loops, if you would like to make use of the new 128 auto loop support. Please note that this will only populate the empty slots and will leave all auto loops you have created as is. Also, with the extended auto loop count, we have added some new improvements. In edit mode, it is now possible to rearrange and organize auto loops between the four banks. 
you can also easily duplicate any existing auto loop. While in performance mode, it is now possible to trigger auto loops at any time, and these can now be triggered over scripted tracks, providing you with even more control of your lighting when performing. You will also see improved visual feedback, both in sound switch and on the control one when using auto loops. If you have any questions about sound switch or the new auto BPM detection feature, please reach out to support at soundswitch.com. You can also join the user group on Facebook or send us a message on Instagram or Facebook Messenger.